Cool, so there's my splayed geometry. Um, I'm not super happy with it. So let's try and add some articulation to our splayed object using something called the crease tool uh, in the sub D modeling toolkit. So the crease tool essentially um, turns our softer edges into hard edges. So for example, if I have this edge here um, and I come up to the crease tool, which sits here called add crease and I click on it, you'll notice that the preview of that outcome becomes very much closer to the hard edge that we see in the unsmooth geometry. And I can go and, you know, add a few of these creases into my geometry. So hit crease like that. Um, and it gives me a very different articulation on the representation of my object. <clears throat> so I might add some creases to the top as well. A type increase like that. In fact, I might add creases to the overall top because I don't like these blobby edges that I've got going on up here like that. And maybe a bit of articulation to these kind of interior ones as well. That a little bit looks a bit better. And then we can, oops, we can start to manipulate, you know, this geometry a little bit more. Um, we could also, with the creases, um, our kind of uncreased outputs can give us a little bit more of a um, articulation on the surface. So if we move those guys in, uh, maybe we can crease the bottom so we have a flat base. So I'll go and crease at the bottom. Um, and then I once again move these guys in. So we get a bit of jaggedness coming through in our splayed object like that. And it really looks, it starts to feel like those are splitting. I wonder if um, if we crease this, yeah, that probably adds a little bit to it. So we could crease that interior edge. I'm not sure if creasing the whole loop's gonna be aesthetically pleasing, but we can see, oh, it's not bad actually. Um, so creasing gives us a little bit more of, um, you know, articulation and change in the way we're representing that geometry from uh, the more jagged version to the smooth one. It just gives us those nicer, harder edges that sometimes are a little bit welcome so you don't get too lost in the blobs like we did in the rib geometry just before. So I'm pretty happy with that splayed geometry. Um, I'm gonna move all of these objects over here.